Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new episode on this channel. Today we are finally back in Sketch and I'm sorry that I couldn't make it last week to finish a second video. But today we are going to dive into Sketch again and the last time we went to design a Sketch app, the uh, user interface, I created this uh, dashboard for your fitness app and today we are going to create a menu for this app, for this UI. So the first thing that we're going to do actually is to just copy the dark version because I would like to just use it and we are going to uh, just group up everything but the status bar. Now in iOS the status bar isn't moving, it's just displaying all the time. You can't move it with your content. So we have to group all of the other contents and we simply have to give them a name, maybe content or yeah, I guess you know what I mean. Now the second thing is to just drag them onto the right side, just about like that to give the user some idea that we still have some content over there. Now the second thing is to, uh, now the next step is to just create a new rectangle and we're going to drag the rectangle from the top to the bottom around like this and it should be of course below the status bar and we can give it a different fill, maybe such a dark fill like that. Now this is going to be the real menu area. So I'm going to make a folder and call this menu with a background layer. That's the background layer. And of course, what we are going to need for such a fitness da dashboard is a user. So I would like to display some basic information about the user, which will be a photo, a name and the email address. And we're going to use Envision Craft for this, for this task. But at first we're going to create a mask, hit O to create a new circle, a new oval and position it in about this. I'm going to get rid of the border and I would like to just paste in automatically a photo into the oval. So you have to select it and then head over to your installed uh, craft plugin, go to photos, unsplash and we already pre-selected portrait and we're going to replace photo. Now, right now you see that we don't have like a real great photo for such a uh, portrait. So I'm going to just do the same again and it's replacing our photo again and again until we find a photo that we like and maybe we just use this one. So that's the photo already placed in correctly. We can also add an, a border to make it look cooler. I would like to display it outside and maybe like in this color. So that's the first few things about the user. Now let's get into the text layers. We have the text layer right here. We change the, the alignment to center to a centered alignment and we drag it just over into this right position. Now we do the same thing again. We select type in our craft plugin and we simply select name and female. So we simply get a automatically generated name. We don't have to think about a name or anything. And for the email, we can just copy the layer, reduce the size a little bit, maybe even change the opacity or like the color. And then we can also just say we get a automatically generated email address, which is super easy, super nice. And that's it. Now, of course, the name and the email aren't really related, related to each other, but I think that's just fine. That's okay. We will work with that. So the next thing, the next few steps that we are going to take is to add some menu items. And I already opened up my material design icons which I'm using all the time, but like copying them, closing the window or like switching windows is kind of difficult sometimes. So we can use this pro tip. This is like the best tip that I can give to you. Uh, all the opened uh, windows that you have of one app, in this case sketch, you can just go to window, merge all windows and you simply have a tapped view 
of your windows. Now, this is going to make it so much easier for us to actually just get it right to copy the items and icons really fast from this interface, uh, from the material design icons, design icons to our interface. Now, to add some icons, to add some elements to our screen, I would like to get the shape to have some user information. Then I would like to have like a star or a heart so you can have your favorites on there as well. So paste them in. And I would also like to have a cloud. The cloud is in this example, maybe our possibility oops, to just make sure that our friends are seeing our uh, successes or yeah, results. And I would also like to add a search icon like that, pop it in and a settings icon. There we have it, settings, copy it, paste it onto your sketch file. Now they should of course be white, so change the color there. And right now it's time to position them. So the user of course should be the first one. Then we have the shape of our heart, of our favorites, the cloud, the search icon, and our settings icon. Of course, make sure to add enough padding so the user won't have any problems with tapping the icons. I'm also grouping them up, call them icons, and placing them in, a, in about like this position right here left aligned. And the next thing that we're going to take, uh, that we're going to copy actually is this, the name of our user and we are pasting it in. But this time we have to make sure it's not centered, it's left aligned. And of course, as I said, this is going to be the user profile. Then just copy these names below duplicate them. Of course, you could do the same also with your uh, with your plugin right here. We can say we want to duplicate them and give them some spacing. The number of duplicates is four, I guess. And do we have to group it up? I don't know. Trying it out for duplicate content. didn't really work well. Okay, so what we're going to do is to just copy it for now. Um, so we also, we don't have that many entries, articles or whatever. If you have like a big user interface and you need many uh, copies, not just five in my case or four, then maybe this plugin can really help you, but I don't want to uh, use that much time to figure out how it's working. So these are our favorites. These, this is like the cloud to show it to our friends, as I said. This is the search and this is settings, just like that. Okay, so now make sure that we drag them to the correct position. Sometimes actually it can be kind of hard because right now you see that we don't get any alignment related to the icon. So, what you can do, for example, is to go to canvas and show rulers and just like add a slice to the middle of the icon to just center up the text layer. So like that, like that, drag them in, just about like that. Then you can just head over to view canvas, show rulers, and they are hiding again. So this is like our user interface by now, our menu, but I think the spacing between these different uh, options of our menu, they don't look right. They The spacing is too small and I would like to add more spacing uh, to like just improve the usability of the app. So. I'm going to select these 
entries, these different entries. And I'm just going to make sure that we have a great spacing for the user, just like that. So simply go select any single item and make sure to drag them into the correct position or to just use shift and your arrow keys. I think this looks much better right now. We can still make sure to have some better alignment. So I'm going to select all of these layers and dragging them into a correct position in this case, like the center, the different, uh, the center between like the email address and our border at the bottom. Okay, so this was today's sketch tutorial. I think in the next one we are going to animate this to select uh, the menu to make it pop out out of this uh, this basic screen, this start screen in principle. So if you are interested in that, this will come out on Wednesday. Guys, I want to say thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, shoot them down in the comment section. And of course, if you liked the video, hit the thumb up button or subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys, enjoy your week. See you.